We're going back in time again, guys. I want you to think about the title of the video and just how you would um, picture somebody who was in this type of field. And this is the first time I found this, but I haven't I haven't seen it in, in years. So, And this is the first time that I'm going to watch it with you. And again, I want you to keep in mind what I just said about the title. And people's common sense and um, <clears throat> simply believing what they're told just because somebody puts it on, on, on a television set. <clears throat> Let me show you guys this real quick. I don't know how much I'm going to get through it because it's like 15 minutes long. I am Butch Loxton. I am but again, keep in mind, I want to reiterate that. What you would think. <clears throat> the type of person in this field I just told you. How they would act. And just think, period. Just just of how a person would act if they were this type of person. You see this person, you see these two this stories at the bottom, at the very bottom. That's the dude that I did the first one on. And I wish I would have known that this video was here online because I would have used that video instead. Instead of the Facebook video, but at least we got this one because this one's even better. Well, it's even, it shows you even more. <clears throat> now, again, reiterating the uh, conditioning of the bar, and just like they do 24 7, keep in mind what this type of person you envision this type of person being. And, or any person, First of all, on behalf of my wife and my son, any person in this situation, period. I don't know if I'll blow it up, if it's going to echo on the YouTube or what, but so I'm just going to keep it like this. First of all, on behalf of my wife and my sons, and on behalf of my other family, uh, our people at the Office Chief Medical Examiner, we wish to extend our deepest sympathies uh, to the families and everyone else who has been so hurt by this event. Um, our thoughts and our prayers are with you. Uh, the office chief medical examiner uh, got here, uh, actually the chief medical examiner, uh, got here a couple hours after the building was secured. Uh, we were here until approximately 12.30 last night. Uh, we thank the uh, emergency services who built us a temporary uh, facility in the parking lot, and we... Uh, uh, I took uh, identification photographs and did preliminary identification on uh, all victims and had everybody transported back to Farmington by uh, about, about one in the morning. Uh, our entire staff turned out, uh, started the postmortem examinations this morning. Uh, we completed the children by about 1.30. And I believe everybody except the uh, uh, assailant and uh, his mother will be finished uh, tonight. And I'll do those tomorrow morning. Um, uh, Lieutenant Vance and staff have a list of the names uh, and the uh, dates of birth. Uh, anything else on there? Uh, no, sir. No, no. Uh, and that'll be distributed. Uh, hope we got enough copies. Um, everybody, uh, death was caused by, uh, uh, everyone that we've completed so far was caused by gunshot wounds. Um, and uh, obviously the manner of death on all these cases has been classified as homicide. Um, How many medical examiners were uh, I have four doctors, and uh, man, I think all ten of my technicians, both the full timers and part timers, were there. Um, and uh, uh, one student from Quinnipiac University. This was her first day. That was kind of interesting. Uh, and uh, uh, the majority. That's the second joke this man done cut and left at.
majority of our investigative staff were working on this at some point, whether they were uh, with us last night or uh, on the job today. And our, uh, uh, I think a lot of our uh, clerical or, or uh, what they call processing techs who do the paperwork and so forth were there. They're up all on the second floor, and I didn't get there today. <laughs> Sir, you are obviously by the nature of your... What was that? At the end. Is this one over the top? Is this one a bit different than things you Did everybody hear the question? No. Uh, uh, was was uh, uh, given what I deal with all the time? Is this one over the top? Um, I've been at this for a third of a century, uh, and it's. My sensibilities may not be the average man, uh, but this probably is the worst I have seen, or uh, the worst uh, that I know of any of my colleagues having seen. And uh, that all the more makes me uh, uh, proud and, and grateful to our staff, who, uh, to a man, have, uh, have just behaved uh, most professionally uh, uh, and, and strongly and um, I hope uh, I hope they and I hope uh, the people of Newtown uh, don't have a crash on their head later but. Dr. 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 on that examination did you tell which caliber of the handgun compared to the rifle of his uh, shooting Good thing it's not being prosecution because then I couldn't answer that. But uh, all the wounds that I know of at this point were caused by the uh, the long weapon. The, so the, the rifle was the primary weapon. Yes. And what caliber were the bullets? Uh, question was what caliber were these bullets? And I know I probably know more about firearms than most pathologists. But if I say it in court, they yell at me and don't make me answer. So. Let the police uh, 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 deal with that for you. Uh, Doctor, can you tell about the, uh, the nature of the wounds? Were they were they at very close range? Were the children shot across the room? Did you tell them? Um, I only did seven of the autopsies. The victims I had ranged from three to eleven wounds apiece, and I only saw two of them with close range shooting. Uh, but that's a uh, you know that's a sample. I really don't have detailed information on the rest of the. The injuries. But you said it was the long rifle that was used? Yes. So, the long rifle was, was discovered in the car. That's not correct. <laughs> not correct, sir. He said he thought the long rifle was discovered in the car. And the guy and somebody said that that's not correct. Oh, well, that's 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 question. Question. How many bullets uh, did uh, Casey refresh to see if find total on the autopsy? Tell us that. Oh. I'm lucky I can tell you how many I found. Uh, I don't know. There were lots of them. Okay. Uh, this type of weapon is not. Uh, there were lots of them. The, the, the bullets are designed in such a fashion that the energy. This is very clinical. I shouldn't be saying this, but the energy is deposited in the tissue, uh, and so the bullet stays in. Doctor, did children die quickly? Are you able to tell that to me? Uh, it's always a difficult question, and obviously I don't have uh, 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 very clinical, I shouldn't be saying this, but the energy is deposited in the tissue, uh, instead of bullets uh, in. It's always a difficult question, and obviously I don't have... Uh, uh, he said, can you tell us the... Victims passed away quickly. Uh, I don't have detailed information on all of them, but this is a very uh, devastating uh, set of injuries. Uh, I I don't I don't the best of my ability to answer that question, which is always less than perfect. Uh, if so, not for very long. Well, most of the injuries. Uh, all the ones. I believe so, yes. What time? 
Uh, we did not bring the bodies and the families into contact. We took uh, pictures of them, um, of, of their facial features. You have, uh, uh, it's, it's easier on the families when you do that. Uh, there is uh, a time and a place for up close and personal in the grieving process. But to accomplish this, uh, we felt it would be best uh, to do it this way. And uh, you can sort of, uh, you can control the situation uh, depending on your photographer. And I have very good photographers. Uh, but uh... Did you hear that? All right, my phone's getting hot, so I'm about to let you cool down and make another part to this so I don't lose all of this. I can't say too much on the subject, but I just want you to observe. We'll be back with the rest of it. And I'll link it so you can go look at it for yourself. And I'll link some other stories related to it that I want you to see.